are you playing life out in your head? We all do it right. We all think of certain situations and play them out in our head. We have discussions with ourselves. We check things out with ourselves. We can, if not careful, live life in our head. We can spend an awful lot of time focusing in on things that never, ever happen. We waste an awful lot of energy, time, focused in on things that aren't necessarily going to serve us. Does that sound familiar? Is that you? Let me know in the comments box below. Do you find yourself playing out scenarios in your head, living in your head, and those things just never, ever come true? Here's the problem. If you are over living in your head, and you are examining things from your current mindset, what's playing out may not necessarily be true. If you are a highly motivated, ambitious woman who is looking to get out of her own way and achieve more than she ever felt possible, then this channel is especially for you. I release new videos over the week to do exactly what it says on the tin, help you to get out of your own way. So remember to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can get upcoming videos. I'm going to explore self-coaching and how you can self-coaching to find out what is going on in your head, whether it is real or not, or whether you're just playing into the drama of your ego and your mindset. I journal every day and I take my clients through a process that helps them bring the unconscious into the conscious so they can find things to release and let go to help them get out of their own way. So of course, I have to be able to walk my talk and get out of my own way, don't I? Absolutely. So I was journaling this morning and I learned recently that I have a block, an emotional block around being successful. That is, has been created from trauma that has happened in the past. So now that I'm aware of it, I can check in with myself daily when I'm journaling and I can check in when I need to go a little bit deeper under the skin of it to find out what's really playing out. So I was doing my check-in this morning and I was feeling a level of resistance, uncertainty, you know, I moved into blaming myself for not doing as much as I thought I had done or where I thought I should be. And I started to think, is that really true? I was allowing this drama to play out in my head. I was allowing myself to take myself into the story, into a negative story of I'm not good enough, I haven't done enough, I haven't achieved enough, I haven't done what I wanted to do, really beating myself up. So, perfect time to self-coach, and this is why self-coaching is such a fantastic tool to learn. You can do it on the go, you can do it in the morning, you can do it in the evening. You know, whenever you've got five minutes, you can just pop your pen out and a piece of paper and start journaling and having a self-coaching conversation with yourself. Now I'm going to give you two pro insight tips at the end of this video. So keep watching. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to share with you an example of the questions that I have created to self-coach myself this morning. I'm going to have to refer to my notes. Let me know, what's your experience with self-coaching yourself? Have you tried it? Do you like it? Do you do it often? Would you like to learn the skills to self-coach? I would love to know how you are using self-coaching or not. If you'd like to learn how to self-coach, I'm going to explore that a lot more in this channel over the coming month. Let me know in the comments. Okay, so I realized this morning that I was feeling out of balance. I was feeling that 
there was a mismatch between what I was actually doing and what was going on in my head. And I wanted to check that out to make sure that I am keeping myself visible and I'm keeping focusing in on the PR because I know that is a block that I've acknowledged that I am clearing, getting out of the way, letting go of. I don't want it. <laughs> so I started to myself coach myself. Let me just get my notes. So as I said, um, I have a fear of success, which I've recently learned about, and that is because I have a very traumatic upbringing, lots of icky nuts, and becoming visible in my mind, in terms of my ego, in terms of my subconscious, means that I'm going to be putting myself at risk. I'm going to be exposing myself in some way. So I'm having to navigate and manage going around what the beliefs I hold that aren't necessarily true, because those are beliefs are from the past. They're not based in reality and now. It's just my mind is working very hard to take me out of the game, to keep me safe, to keep me self-doubting myself. Because if it does that, it means that I stay still, I don't move forward, I don't progress, I don't do the work it is that I really, really want to do. Okay, so here we go. In morning on. <laughs> Firstly, I have recognized that there is something that is playing out and I need to take a closer look at it and I need to self-coach myself through it. I'm playing life out in my head rather than playing life out for real. So I'm letting lots of what ifs, lots of drama getting the way and it's distorting my perception of reality. So what's really happening isn't what's happening in my head. If that makes any sense whatsoever, let me know. <laughs> Has that ever happened to you? <laughs> First question, of course, I've asked myself is, am I playing life in my head? So we're starting to get into self-coaching here. I have started to ask, well, I've asked the first question. So I've opened the door for me to respond to that question. Am I playing life in my head? And I will answer that question question in as much detail or as little detail as I like. Sometimes I bullet point notes, sometimes I write chaotically. In but however you're feeling, it doesn't matter. The important thing is, is that you've asked yourself the question to open the door so you can start a conversation with yourself. And then you answer the question. So that's my first opening inquisitive self-coaching question. Am I playing life in my head? Okay, so I want to find out what the reality is. Next question I've asked myself is what is the resistance? What's the resistance it is that I am feeling? So again, I will answer that question. I will answer whether it, I'm feeling something in my body, whether I'm feeling it in my mind. I will just sink into what I'm feeling in terms of that level of resistance in that moment. What is really going on? I'll give my perspective on what I think is really going on. What am I really doing? Again, I will give my perspective on what I am doing. So this, you can see that these questions are inquisitive and they are very similar to one another. And that is absolutely okay. It's absolutely fine. You, the, the questions will just come up naturally for you then just answer them trust trust in the process trust in the conversation that you're having with yourself hold yourself accountable so what is the real reality this is what i was talking about this disconnect between my ego wanting to keep me safe and the reality of the work it is that i was actually doing but not necessarily acknowledging until i did this exercise so what's the truth of the situation again dig into that what do i believe is the truth of the situation what drama is playing out in my head what are you feeling feeling is always a good one you know where are you sensing it in your body what where are you feeling that level of resistance how rather than just 
feeling that you're not doing something, how is it manifesting and showing itself up in the body? So I'll, I'll go into that and I'll answer that question. So I've gone into a number of questions here around what is the reality? So what are you doing on a daily basis? So this is to help me to explore what is it actually that I'm really doing rather than living life in my head and assuming that I'm doing lots of things that I may not necessarily be doing because that's how sneaky the ego is and the brain is, is I wanted to check out what the reality is. So I've asked a group of inquisitive questions around that are going to help me self-coach myself and check to see what the reality is of the situation. So what are you doing on a daily basis? What are you not doing? What do you need to be doing more of? What do you need to surrender? What do you need to believe to be true? What do you need to be saying to yourself? So again, these questions have just naturally fallen after one another after I am responding to these self-coaching questions that I have felt that are appropriate for me for where I am at. Take your time with it. Come into a self-coaching space that is loving and compassionate. You hold no judgments. You want to come into what we call in the coaching space a clean coaching space. You know, hold no judgments. It is what it is. Just trust in the process and start to ask yourself inquisitive questions that are going to allow you to get under the skin of what is happening. And it doesn't matter if the questions repeat themselves in lots of different ways, because these have definitely repeated themselves in lots of different ways, which is fine. Every time you answer that question, you are just going down another layer, down another layer again, and down another layer again. So you can start to understand, so I can understand what the reality is of my situation in terms of, you know, what is getting in my way? What is really happening is this life playing out in my head is it an illusion that i have created which it absolutely was an illusion that i was creating because i was actually doing a lot of work once i come through this process i was like ah okay okay so i'm just beating myself up for no reason whatsoever apart from this part of me that wants to keep myself safe and make sure that i'm never visible not not very helpful running a business. <laughs> it will definitely be to your detriment. So I wanted to give you two pro insight tips. And the first one is always self-coach with a pen and paper. Not a phone, not a laptop, not anything digital. You want to use old fashioned pen and paper. So Treat yourself to a lovely new journal or a workbook, artist book, whatever way, whatever paper form it is that you really, you really like, like the feel of, like the look of. Take the opportunity to really get to know yourself better. And start with just, you know, if you don't know where to start, just start with something like, hey, Wendy, how are you doing today? What's going on? What's up? Tell me about it. And then you'll start writing. And then a question will naturally come up. And don't worry if you find yourself just journaling for a couple of minutes. You know, this is like anything. You need to learn it. You need to develop the skills. You just need to give it a little bit of time. But honestly, this is worth its weight in gold. Self-coaching, once you have really started to invest your energy into it, honestly, it will completely transform your life. The second pro mindset tip is, and I've mentioned this as I've been talking, is about to hold no judgment. 
really important. It's not about criticizing yourself. It's not about beating yourself up. It is about creating a divinely feminine, loving space. Love, compassion, forgiveness, surrender. It is not an opportunity for you to really poke at yourself. All you're doing here is asking yourself, you're following the journey that you're taking yourself on, and you're asking yourself inquisitive questions to get underneath the skin of what's going on. Because once you've done that and you really understand what is playing out, then you can make inspired, you can take an inspired decision. You can take inspired action because you fully understand what is going on. It will help you make much better decisions moving forward around whatever it is you are self-coaching yourself around. Self-coaching is amazing. Let me know if you have any questions in the chat box. The month of March is all going to be about self-coaching. So if you would like training on self-coaching, if you'd like to learn more about self-coaching for either an emotional health, mental health, to deal with relationships or difficult situations, you can see that you can apply this in any situation. Make sure you hit that subscribe button subscribe button and the bell so you get notified of up and coming videos. If you know someone who is struggling at the moment for whatever reason, please do pass this video on because this is an opportunity for them to learn to self-coach themselves and to help them alleviate some of the distress distress or emotional turbulence that a lot of people are feeling in this current moment. Awesome. So until next time, have an awesome day.